Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you all the structures visualized in the parasternal long axis view. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. So let's start. This is the parasternal long axis view and I'm going to show you one by one all the structures you can visualize in this view. The first very anterior thin line we can see there is the anterior pericardium. Under the pericardium we can find the right ventricular free wall. That first black area at the top corresponds to a chamber. That chamber is the right ventricle. This bright, thicker line in the middle is the anterior interventricular septum. This bigger black space under the septum corresponds to a chamber. This chamber is the left ventricle. This thick area is the left ventricular posterior wall. After the posterior wall, we can visualize a very thin, bright, white line. That line corresponds to the posterior pericardium. This smaller area in the left ventricle is called the left ventricular outflow tract or the LVOT. This black area or echo-free space at the right hand side corresponds to the left atrium. Now let's get a closer view. The first valve at the top is the aortic valve you can see how the valve is closed. When the aortic valve is open, we can differentiate the cusps. The first thin line at the top is the right coronary cusp. Depending on the cut, this second line is more likely to be the non-coronary cusp. However, depending on the cut, you may be able to see the left coronary cusp in this view. Now let's have a proper look at all the segments you are able to visualize in the parasternal long axis view. In this view, you are able to find and measure the aortic annulus, the sinus of Valsalva, the sinotubular junction and the proximal ascending aorta. The second valve at the bottom is the mitral valve. The first line at the top corresponds to the anterior mitral valve leaflet and the second line at the bottom corresponds to the posterior mitral valve leaflet. The mitral valve annulus serves as an insertion site for the leaflet tissue. The first arrow is pointing to the anterior mitral annulus and the second arrow is pointing to the posterior mitral annulus. Those chunky lines attached to the mitral valve are the papillary muscles. In this view, specifically, we can see the posteromedial papillary muscle. These thinner lines attached to the mitral valve leaflets are the chordae tendinae. Sometimes after the posterior mitral valve annulus and before the pericardium, we can see a small and rounded black circle or echo-free space. This echo-free space corresponds to the coronary sinus. 
After the pericardium, sometimes you might see a bigger rounded eco-free space. This space corresponds to the descending aorta. We already know that we can visualize the anterior septum and the posterior wall in the parasternal long axis view. But we can also differentiate the different segments of these walls. The basal segments are the segments closer to the valves. Then we can find the middle segments and sometimes we are able to see the apical segments from this view. Different coronary artery territories are in charge to supply the blood flow to these walls and segments. The left anterior descending coronary artery supplies blood flow to the anterior septum and apical segments. The left circumflex artery supplies blood flow to the middle segment of the posterior wall. And the posterior descending artery of the right coronary artery and the circumflex supplies blood flow to the basal segment of the posterior wall. Now let's watch all these structures in motion and just name them one more time. Anterior pericardium, right ventricular free wall, right ventricle. Interventricular anterior septum, left ventricle, posterior wall, Posterior pericardium, left ventricular outflow tract, left atrium, Aortic valve, mitral valve, right coronary cusp. More likely the non-coronary cusp. Anterior mitral valve leaflet. Posterior mitral valve leaflet. Corde tendine, posteromedial papillary muscle, This video is all about the structures. If you want to know how to obtain this view, I have another video about it, so I will leave the link in the description box. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video with your colleagues and see you on another time. Bye.